good piece, Yusuf. You know where to find the worthwhile loot. <clears throat> the boss will be pleased. Police! Hands up, both of you, right now! Huh? <gasps> you in the coat! Hands up, I said! I don't think so. Step on it! robbery in under a month. Cairo is certainly a nerve center for the trade. This time, two policemen died. We've been warned that other antiques have been stolen. The Parthenon in Athens and Saint Sophia in Istanbul. And the arms trade is picking up in Hamburg and even here in London. Oh, do you think there might be a link, Captain? Steal some artifacts, sell them, use the money to buy weapons, sell the weapons. The arms trade is very lucrative. Francis, old chap. I've had enough of electrons, protons, neutrons, and all the rest of the trons. You're giving up physics, Philip? Not really. You see, I'm going to Egypt on holiday. To Cairo? Yes, remember my old friend, Ahmed Rasim Bey? Yes, curator of the Egyptian Museum? That's right. Ahmed invited me for a visit. I'm so pleased. Egyptology fascinates me. Francis? Oh, sorry, old bean. I was thinking. We're after some smugglers who are operating out of Cairo. Oh, no, Blake, no way. I'm not going to play a cloak and dagger for intelligence in Egypt. All I'm interested in is old papyrus and mummies. <laughs> Ah, Ahmed, you can't imagine how glad I am to be back in Egypt among its treasures. You haven't lost your youthful enthusiasm. How delightful. Cheops, the pharaoh who built the Great Pyramid. Fancy. It's a small statue for such a great achievement. By Jove, it's a treasure house. Yes, but the responsibility for these treasures weighs heavy on me. A new ring of antique robbers has surfaced, and Egypt's priceless heirlooms have always attracted robbers and enthusiastic amateur scholars who confuse science with romance. Hey, hold on a minute. I hope you don't classify me in either of those groups. Oh, admit then. it, you'd love to discover a new Tutankhamun. Yes, I must admit. I cannot an heretic. I have something in the lab that I think will interest you. Really? Some fragments of writing dating from the Ptolemies. We just discovered them. Capital! Come with me. You will be the first outsider to see it. Mortimer, my dear chap, may I introduce you to Abdul Ben Zaim, my assistant. How do you do, sir? How do you do? Aha! Uh -huh. Something new. Yes, I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Would you do the honor, Professor? Delighted, Ahmed. Now, let me see. Hmm. And so, Pa Tenemeb, the high priest, spoke thus. None must be able to profane the eternal resting place of our beloved Pharaoh. So they hid the royal sarcophagus and the objects left for the pharaoh's comfort and the treasure of the temple, which was great, in a place most secret. A treasure, a secret room, how wonderful. You've always loved the spectacular side of Egypt's history. What more can you ask? Once night had fallen, they placed his sarcophagus on a gilded boat. That's all there is. Let's check the next. In the chamber of Horus, where he rests for all eternity, protected by his gods and loved by his people, he lies in splendor. That's all. Abdul, have we anything else? No, not yet. 
Tell me, this part in a member who seems to have recorded the whole story, he was one of Akhenaten's favourites, wasn't he? That is right. Let me see if I remember. Around 1370 BC, a new pharaoh came to the throne of Egypt. His name was Amenophis IV. Early in his reign, he founded a new monotheistic religion that revered Aton, the solar disk, the symbol of purity and light. He took the name Akhenaten, which means spirit of Aten. He built a new capital city and called it Amarna. But he came into conflict with the mighty priests of Amon, who desired above all to retain their former supremacy. He reigned for 17 years and then died exhausted. He was succeeded by the young boy king, Tutankhamun. The priests of Amon regained their power, and soon, everything Akhenaten the heretic had done was wiped out. The tomb of Akhenaten has never been found. Very good, Mortimer. Ten out of ten. Laugh if you like. But Patanameb was a familiar of Akhenaten, and so it seems quite logical that the treasure mentioned in that papyrus could well be Akhenaten's. There is a lot in what you say, Mortimer. Just think of it. The treasure of a great pharaoh like Akhenaten, found intact after almost 4,000 years. It would be the greatest discovery in the history of Egyptology. We must locate this chamber of Horus. But not now. It's growing late. Why don't we discuss this exciting find over a good dinner? Excellent. I think I'll work a little longer. If you find anything new, be sure to let me know right away. Certainly, sir. You may count on it. Oh, I left my hat in the lab. I must go and get it. I'll meet you at the door. Marvelous. It's not absolutely certain yet, but if they're right, it'll be an earth-shaking discovery. Yes? No, no, not here. Out of the question. I, um... Well, if you insist, but I warn you, it's dangerous. All right, I'll come down and let you in in one hour, but be careful no one sees you, I implore you. <gasps> Did I startle you? I beg your pardon. I forgot my hat. Good night, Mr. Abdul. Good night, sir. Oh. Ahmed, old chap, I have a favor to ask. Ah, what would you like? Allow me not to have dinner with you. That's hardly a favor. And to stay in the museum a few hours longer. I see. And may one ask why you make this request, Professor? Let's say I have a pet theory, and I'd appreciate an opportunity to test it. Even the best of theories needs testing. Ah, frankly, I think you want to indulge your talent for solving picturesque puzzles, but why not? Go ahead. Last time, a statue smashed, two dead cops. That's not a great record. But I wasn't even there. So what? This time I'll do it myself. What's the situation? I found the information we needed. This time I promise we're on the brink of a discovery that will make history. The treasure of Akhenaten. Oh. Huh. Who's there?
No two ways about it, Mortimer. You're always barging in where you're not wanted. Why didn't you say that nuisance Mortimer was on the scene? You know each other? In a manner of speaking. But don't worry, I took care of him. He was here and you... you took care of him? I only knocked him out, you fool. But they'll suspect me. I am done for. Mm-hmm. Very true. That would be most unfortunate. It could wreck all our plans. But I think I have a way out. Hmm. Turn around, would you? And take off your fez. But... I think it couldn't be clearer. Nothing was stolen. Therefore, it wasn't a thief. So it must have been a psychopath who got locked in the museum. What? He simply panicked when he ran into Professor Mortimer. And Abdul, of course. Case closed. Thank you, gentlemen. But... I... May I go now? As far as I'm concerned, you may. Go and get some rest, Abdul. You can come back to work when you are feeling better. Thank you. Do you believe it was a stray psychopath? No. Of course I don't. But it was the best story Kamal and I could come up with. And apparently Abdul swallowed it. That's all that matters. I think you owe me an explanation. I think so, too. It's like this. So Abdul found information that told him how to find the Chamber of Horus and hid it from us? I'm sure of it. Oh. But don't let him know you know. Let him lead us to Ulrich and we'll recover the papyrus then. This Ulrich, do you know him well? Let's say that we've had dealings in the past. If you don't mind, I'd like to telephone my friend Francis Blake of the Intelligence Service. I think he'd be very interested in all of this. Ulrich? You're right. If Ulrich's on the scene, I'd better get over there as quickly as I can. Count on me, old chap. I'll call you as soon as I get to Cairo. Thompson, I'm flying to Cairo. From London? Yes. Uh, no, from Brussels. Then the ferry to Ostend, then a fast train to Brussels. That way, if anyone's tailing me, I'll know it. I'll take care of it, sir. Thank you. What are you going to do now? I think I'll shadow our friend Abdul for a while. <laughs> no! Aren't you Professor Mortimer? Yes, who are you? Cairo police. Hey, taxi! He spotted us. Don't lose him. Run it! I know where it is. Here, right beside the Great Sphinx. There's the entrance to the Chamber of Horus. The most fabulous treasure ever discovered. The tomb of Akhenaten, the accursed pharaoh. I don't believe in curses. There's no way we can start digging there without authorization, and that's hard to get. What's that? Another dig. That's Dr. Gross Grabenstein. Hmm. Dr. Gross Grabenstein. Autopsy of a Mummy of the 21st Dynasty by Dr. Anton Grossgrabenstein. Might I use your telephone? Of course. Have you found something? I may have. It's worth a try. Yusef's Antique Shop. 
An antique shop? Hello, um, would you give me your address, please? Thanks. And are you open today? Great. Goodbye. Know them? Never heard of them. We have to alert Kamal. Not yet. There's too much we don't know. All right, but I'm going with you. I will not let you go alone. Would you look at that? It should be in your museum, Ahmed. Now, that's prehistoric, isn't it? Who could possibly mm. drive a contraption mm. like that? I can. Herr Dr. Gross Grabenstein. Oh, uh, pleased to meet you. My automobile is not a figure of fun. This is Professor Philip Mortimer. Ah, Professor Mortimer! I am thrilled, delighted. I am one of your greatest admirers. Ah, uh, kind of you. Egyptology, you like it? Also, you must come to my house. I will show you my collection, mummies, sarcophagi. Uh, I'd be delighted. You must come to my dig or I'll be hurt. I wait upon you. You have a dig? Yes. Really? Where? On the plain of Giza. Hm, superb. Magnificent. A whole tomb, totally untouched, pristine. You see, we will reach the first chamber soon. It's on the plain of Giza. Near the Great Sphinx. I am not yet certain, but I think it is the tomb of Tanikara. Oh. We have already mm. broken into the main corridor. Uh, Herr Doctor. Uh, have you read my little treatise, The Autopsy of a Mummy of the 21st Dynasty? Mm. Yusuf's Antiques. Good day, Effendi. <laughs> How may I help you? A friend of mine, Abdul, told me I should visit your shop. Abdul? But, of course, you must be a connoisseur, I can tell. I have a few small things that might interest you if you'd like to step this way. I've got Mortimer, boss. What do I do with him? Right, I'll leave the door open for you. Francis Blake speaking. Hello? Hello, operator. Go and find some rope. Fast. Behind the crates, over there. Yusuf? Rajul! Yusuf! What the? What do you think you're playing at? Police, this is an emergency. Alert Commissioner Kamal at once. It's vital. I'm afraid he's not available right at the moment. 
Get it. Go on. Yusef's Antiques, it's here. Open this door! This way. I have a taxi waiting. Dear, dear, your friend's in bad oh, shape. He had a little too much to drink, that's all. Are you sure? Because I don't want any trouble. Hey! Freeze! I said freeze! None of that. It's a nuisance, but don't worry. We'll catch him in the end. Has your contact in the intelligence service been in touch with you yet? Blake. Yes, that was it. Blake. Has he called? Ah, here are the newspapers. Thanks. Anything interesting? Oh, no. Look at this. Mysterious crime in Athens was Captain Francis Blake murdered. That scoundrel Ulrich will pay for his crimes. I'll find Ulrich and I'll avenge Francis Blake. May Allah come to your aid. Stoner now. I told you so. I did it, boss. I broke into the passage. Magnificent. Bravo, Abdul. You've shown me the way to the Chamber of Horus and the Treasure of Akhenaten. Thank you. But I'm afraid we won't need your services anymore. <gasps> If you had let me arrest him, he'd still be alive now. I was wrong, I admit it. I hoped he might lead us to Ulrich. Oh, he found Ulrich, all right. But they didn't hit it off. We're back to square one on this case. I think I'll pay a visit to Grossgrabenstein. Now that is a good idea. It will take your mind off your troubles. He said his dig was near the Sphinx, didn't he? Yes, that is what he said. is allowed to go down there. But Effendi. Shut up and learn to obey orders. Uh. Hold, stranger. In truth, I tell you, you would be wise to spare this man. Who in blazes are you? Mind your own business or I'll put you in the hospital. Do not presume to threaten me, stranger. Why, you old... I'll teach you. Who are you? Let go! Come on, and fight like a man! There's no time for sunbathing, Sharky. We have work to do. Halt, Dummkopf! No, I forbid you! 
Professor Mortimer, what a pleasant surprise. Just you wait. Come in, come in. Let me show you around. I am almost sure that this is a tomb of Tanit Kara. The wife of Shipseska, the last pharaoh of the fourth dynasty. If you're right, then this tomb is almost as old as the Sphinx and the pyramids. You're absolutely right. I can see you know your history of Egypt. This tomb may have been built more than 4,500 years ago. In here. This is our main work site. I'm hoping we'll find a passage that'll lead to the funeral chamber. Very impressive. Where does that lead? No, it's a dead end. Sharky checked it out. Do come and visit me at the villa. I have some interesting things I'd like to show you. Thanks, I'd like to. Look out! Ah! ah. My goodness! That was a piece of luck. It depends on one's point of view. I hope to see you soon at the villa. I'll be delighted. Auf Wiedersehen, Professor. Beware. Something is going on at that dig. I feel it in my bones. Gross Grabenstein has an excellent reputation. He's quite above suspicion. He may well be. His employees are another matter. And this note, someone warned me to beware. Who would want to scare me off? I have no idea. Well, I intend to find out. I'm going back to investigate tonight. <laughs> And they have gone. Ulrich, I knew it. Let's get out of here. You were spying on me, you rat. Who sent you? Who sent you? I'd be delighted to tell you when you stop throttling me. Please, old chap. I'm turning blue. Blake! <laughs> In the flesh, old bean. As soon as I realized they planned to kill me, I jumped at the chance. So you knew they were following you then? Of course I did. But I was wearing a bulletproof vest. Three shots at point-blank range. My ribs will ache for a long time to come. It was a nasty shock all the same. I'm sorry, but to protect my cover, I couldn't tell anyone, not even you. Then it was you who yelled the warning and left the note under my saddle. Indeed it was. I must warn Gross Grunstein. Ulrich's using him to find the Chamber of Horus. Of course he is. But you'll have to do it. I don't want to blow my cover. All right. I'll warn the doctor. There we are, Effendi. Ready to serve Herr Dr. Gross Grabenstein. Ah, 
Professor Mortimer. Delighted to see you. What a rutty miser you are. I'm so happy you have decided to come and visit me. I didn't come only to see your collection, Herr Doctor. No? No, indeed. Your foreman, how long have you known him? Sharky, not very long. He's a rogue, and is in league with a highly dangerous man, Colonel Ulrich. Mustafa, you clod. I told you to shut that door. I did. I know I did. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, Colonel Ulrich. <laughs> That's a good one. Why not Robin Hood? Or, or Jack the Ripper? Or St. George? <laughs> you have been reading too many mysteries, my friend. Oh, you clumsy fool! Ulrich! Oh. Oh. was an impressive performance. You know, you really ought to be in the movies. <laughs> you flatter me, Professor. But I'm afraid I can't let you stick around for the rest of my performance. Such a pity. <laughs> Once my sturdy associate, Jack, has dealt with you, we'll finish wrapping you up. There could be no more fitting end for an Egyptologist, could there? Who knows? Someday you may be the prime exhibit in someone's collection. Huh? <laughs> Boss! Boss! We have company! Cops all over the place. Somebody goofed. I'll lower the steel shutters. That'll slow them down. Ah! They cut the power. Blast! Open this door! In the name of the law! Open, the door. Open fire! Look out! We're up a creek, but I have a plan. I need 15 minutes. Jack, go back and plug Mortimer. It'll be a pleasure. You, fend off the cops as long as you can. Use everything you've got. Right, boss. Nighty night, Professor. <laughs> oh. Fancy meeting you here. I think you just blew your cover. Yes, I'm afraid so. This ought to do the trick, gentlemen. Look, up there. Hey! Hold your fire! Ah, uh, uh, I'm so glad to see you. I was held hostage by that scoundrel Ulrich and I... I oh, oh. You two, put him in my car. Fire! Ah, Professor Mortimer. Who's this? Inspector Kamal, may I introduce Captain Francis Blake of the Intelligence Service? How do you do? It was Blake who sabotaged the security system and called in the tip-off. The anonymous phone call? It was you? That's right. This time, Ulrich is ours. Ulrich? He's here? Didn't you know? Gross Grabenstein. Did you see Gross Grabenstein? Certainly. He's recovering in my car now. But that's Ulrich. Ulrich? Yes, with a wig and a false beard. It's coming from over there. 
careful, Philip. I've got you this time. It's real. Of course it's real, you fool. What did you think? This is an outrage. I lay a complaint. I am calling my counsel. This whole thing's crazy. Ulrich is Gross Grabenstein, but Gross Grabenstein is an Ulrich. This one is an Ulrich, so... Mm -hmm. Right. Outside. Just let him drive off in my car. Everyone back to the station. And right now. I think I know where Ulrich will head. So do I. There, the tunnel entrance. Let's go. It's a copy of the plan Abdul worked out. He'll head straight for the Chamber of Horus. We can't be far from the entrance. Rosecrownstein told me this was a dead end. It looks as though he was telling the truth for once. I don't believe it. There's no way out of here. No, but Ulrich didn't just melt away. We must have missed something. Look at that. A chimney. This passageway is obviously very old. Another dead end? No. Over here. Hands and knees, eh? What fun. I think we're getting close. It looks like a stairway straight to hell. Last. Here we are. Magnificent. Yes. Which door do we want? We'll have to try them one by one. So, nothing here. On to the next. No. No luck here. Nothing in this one. Nothing here either. There's only one left. If there's nothing here, I'll admit I'm stumped. Ah! Oh! I'm sorry. Those bats scared the daylights out of me, you know. It's broken. We won't get far with a few matches. We could make torches. Out of what? I saw some wood in the great hall. Oh. Oh. Stiff as a... Oh. Mortimer? Mortimer? Where are you? What? I'm here, Blake. Philip, where are you? Here, Francis. On the other side of the wall. I must have pricked a switch and opened a panel. There must be a system of counterweights so the panel can pivot. All I have to do is find it. There's a passage back there. Let's get the torches. Are you all right? Francis! I'm all right now, but I won't be for long. Here, grab hold. Quick! Oh, oh. oh, Francis, you'll make it, you'll make it. Uh, thanks, old chap. Think nothing of it. That's all we need. No it light. It puts us in a rather awkward position. Oh, down here. I think we're almost there. The Chamber of Horus. The Tomb of Akhenaten. And Ulrich. Don't move, Ulrich. Blake, you're alive. Alive and kicking, as you can see, Ulrich. Hands up and come over here slowly. That's the way. I think that's the last of them. 
but I better make sure. Those blasted Brits have nine lives. <gasps> Get back! That was close. If it hadn't been for that lintel, we'd be crushed. What's he doing that for? Something's frightened him. The water's rising. Crocodiles. Done for. You filthy mummy. I'll get you before they get me. <gasps> Abdel Razek. You don't scare me with your ridiculous dress and your bag of tricks, you old fool. I, Horus, desist. The time has come to pay for your many crimes. Oh, Adon, source of life, light of the universe, the world is in thy hand. High priest of Atom. Let your name be wiped out. Come here, the strangers. But uh, the crocodiles. Where did they go? The plank is intact. Come here, the. Are you the guardian of this ancient tomb? That is indeed my mission and that of my fathers before me. For almost 35 centuries we've watched, and until light and purity return to the world, we shall continue to watch. A descendant of part enemy. He was my forefather. You are a good man. Take this and go in peace. I can't accept this. Really. And Ulrich? What do you do with him? Hmm. He will do no harm ever again. <laughs> He's gone mad. Or oh, very wise. Atan the Great has judged him. And now you will close your eyes and forget all you have seen in this sacred place. But... In the name of Aton, who brought peace, forget, forget. Ouch, where are we? Oh. What happened? This is the royal chamber. How did we get here? I remember there was the attack on the villa, and we went to investigate at the dig. That's all I recall. Mm, I have a feeling I dreamed, but for the life of me, I can't remember what. Same here. I remember a dazzling burst of light. So do I. We dreamt the same dream. Very strange. I'd give my eye teeth to remember that dream. What if it wasn't a dream? W what's that ring? Why, I don't know. Egypt still holds many secrets. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,